Hello, this is Victor Zaitsev from energyperformancehub.com. Today we are talking about energy performance contracts and specific stage. The first stage of energy performance contract called investment grade audit, IGA. Sometimes it's also called mistakenly detailed energy audit, DEA. I would prefer it's called investment grade audit. So the reason is it's not actually that detailed uh, uh, as the name of it suggests. We will talk about this later and I will explain why. Uh, what's the purpose of investment grade audit? Um, just basically in this stage, what all you know from the proposals of the, of the, of the partner you selected in the tender, all you know is that they, for instance, may say they guarantee minimal savings of hotel 15% of energy and we can estimate your backlog reduction at say 1-2 million pounds but that's all, obviously this is the minimal savings um, and all, all it means basically is, is just the assessment, quick assessment they are not putting a guarantee, maybe they can say 20% but you know, it, it's not what they are recommending so at this stage, it, it's a stage where your partner, energy services company, ASCO, is spending on average about six months on site. And that would include probably a project manager, that would include a couple of energy consultants, uh, sneaking around the buildings, taking notes, taking photos. Let's just come back, what was the purpose of it? The purpose of it is, at the end of it, you've got to have, first of all, they need to give you a guarantee on the energy savings. What it means if they guarantee and if they underperform, it means they will be paying out of the pocket the difference. So that's one. Number two, you need, basically this project needs to grow. W what it consists of? I oh, know, they, they say they can pay 15% in the tender. What's the project? What are they going to do? It's like high level measures being lifted possibly, but I mean, they haven't been tried, they haven't been looked in detail, they haven't seen the whole state yet. So they are going to spend a hell of a lot of time looking into those buildings, recording the stuff, coming up with the energy conservation measures. That's on the technical side. On the other side, you will be having regular meetings with the energy services company. And you will be discussing these energy conservation measures kind of on a, on, on a basis of the program, say building per building, as they just do it this way. And we come up with these measures, what do you think? Have we forgotten something? You know, estate team will have their own experience why stuff doesn't run, or maybe they will have other recommendations, or maybe they will scrap some energy conservation measures because simply they wouldn't work for different reasons, for practical reasons. So that's the technical side. We also spoke that if you followed my advice, you already have a budget for this energy performance project. But yes, you had a budget. Now you need kind of a full business case. And what I suggest you need in a full business case at the end of this investment grade audit, at the end of this six months, is the following. So cost, defined cost, payback obviously. Uh, it could be simple payback, but for the finance director it's likely to be uh, net present values, stuff like this. So energy savings, percentage, and, and in megawatt hours per year, for instance. Next one is cash savings. Here, yeah, don't confuse. Energy savings, kilowatt hours, cash savings at the current, for instance, market price of, 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 of the units of energy, of the kilowatt hour electricity and gas. Next one, non-guaranteed energy savings. This is really, really, really important. You've got to understand that. The majority of the benefits of the energy performance contract is not coming from the energy savings. Yeah? The other benefits will be non-guaranteed energy savings, maintenance, reactive maintenance savings. You know, if you are replacing shell and chip clarifiers with plate heat exchanges, you do not need to do insurance inspection for them yearly. You know, it's two guys, possibly two days per unit. You've got 50 units, you can count. You, ten thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of pounds per year, per year, 
plus obviously consider all these all these breakdowns, consider all this reactive maintenance budget, which very hard to 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 forecast. An energy services company by the measures by um, improving BMS will dramatically reduce those reactive aspects which you can't forecast. There will be other benefits. For instance, maybe energy services company will negotiate a better contract for you. Uh, for the utility bills. Yeah, they will not guarantee. Uh, for instance, they can save water for you. They will not guarantee. But, you know, water is expensive. It's nearly as expensive as gas. You should be always saving water. Lots of other stuff. Another critical aspect. Backlog maintenance reduction. That, that could be millions of pounds. You know, every big organization should have this as a document. How much cash have been underinvested in the previous years. So if you invest it today, just to bring it to the standard where the risk of failure of this critical equipment or maybe medium equipment with medium uh, risk is it, reduced substantially. So your business can operate and uh, flourish. The next one is again very important, life cycle cost. Yes, it's not about the capital cost, it's life cycle cost. What's the cost of installation? What's the cost of running? What's the cost of maintenance? What's the cost of scrapping it? That all needs to be included into the product. Risk reduction, again, was dis described previously. You reduce that risk of equipment failure, and sometimes there is a matrix, there is points, where you can see percentage of risk reduction. The business case will also tell you how the project will be procured in terms of what's the contract type, you know, if, if you need to lend money, you will be lending at that amount of uh, uh, interest, if you're doing as a service level agreement, that's the details of the deal. Also they will do like a cash flow forecast whatever, for the next 10 years for instance. They will make it cash positive for you if you want it. All these requirements you specify and energy services company delivers to you. And obviously oh, you will have a list of energy conservation measures, a shopping list so called. And they will say we do upgrade air handling units, we upgrade DMS, we change the clarifiers for quick heat exchange as we get rid of domestic hot water storage. Uh, we upgrade lighting, voltage optimization, you name it, it will be there, renewables, so you can see as well, all those items will be implemented on your side. That's what we're looking for at the end of investment grade audit. Bear in mind the important thing, it takes time to develop it. Also, important point, if energy services company guarantees you, if they make a mistake, in energy assessment, if they make mistakes in assessment of on the quotes or the works which they do themselves or they subcontract, they will have to pay you the difference of the energy performance. And believe me, they will go through the vigorous process of making sure they achieve this. And it takes time. It takes time. All these calculations, all these changes, all the stuff you take out, put back in, it affects the, the stuff. They will work out your baseline of the energy calculations and at the end you will have a thing called like a shop list, shopping list. Now, what I suggest about shopping list, there's lots of companies say fine at the end of investment grade audit we've got this wonderful list, you know, we know the value of the project, you know, possibly we've seen some quotes even if it's an open book process. Let's just do it ourselves. I mean, come on, we don't all have all, all the hard work, which is just going to implement and it's going to work. Think twice. If you consider the life cost of this, first of all, you lose the guarantee. Number one, if you borrow in money and you take ESCO out, then obviously the company, it will be much harder to find a third party financier who will sponsor the, the deal. If you've got ESCO, it's a blue chip, massive companies, and uh, financial authorities and, and banks will easily guarantee those savings for those companies. So you lose that. Secondly, you cannot believe how much resources will take. 
Bear in mind, the implementation is a, is a massive multi-million project. Massive. It will have to comply with construction design management regulations. 1. You will have to have a, a site management team. I suggest 4, four people as a minimum. The third disadvantage of doing it yourselves. Bear in mind, if you pulled out of the tender, now you have to retender every single stuff package. Uh, in the UK, probably in a, in a public center, sector above 100,000, you will have to retender logging, lighting, plate sheet exchanges, uh, you name it. Every of these single packages will have to be retended. Lost time, lost energy, who will manage that? First, uh, and, and, and the fourth one is the resource. You don't have technical resource to be able to cover it. You don't have the specialist inside of your team to be able to deal with those things. Plus, risk. Obviously, massive risk of project failure. No one wants it. So, I don't advise you to do it yourself. Uh, this is it. That's, in a nutshell, investment grade audit for you. And if run properly at the end of it, you will have of the full business case, you will know what you're installing, you will have confidence, you will know the costs, which hopefully you budget. And another thing, stick to the budget of the project which was put initially through the board. Don't come up with the twice larger project. It's just silly. It's just going to be cut back. Stick to this budget. If you plan 5 million, keep it at 5 million. Let's see. You've got the budget, don't make it bigger. Better think about phase two. Do some measures like windows, some more expensive stuff at the second phase. That's it. Thank you very much. That was investment grade audit of energy performance contract uh, by Victor Zaito uh, from energyperformancehub.com. Bye.